God bless Instagram, but Instagram will take your money. Instagram will take your money if you don't know what you're doing and you're running Instagram ads and they don't work. But you don't have to worry about that because I got you. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make Instagram ads that actually work. We don't want Instagram to take money from us. No, we wanna make money from Instagram. We want ads that make us riche. So here's the agenda for today. First, I'm gonna walk you through a tutorial on how to set up Instagram ads. It's gonna have step-by-step -step instructions on how to set this up with the most accurate, up-to-date way of doing this. But if you're like, Michelle, like I already know how to do this. Nice, you're an intermediate. Skip through that beginning part and I'm gonna give you some really good tips at the end on how to make your Instagram ads explode. We're gonna do 30 tips today. These tips are gonna be the most current, most important things that you should know in order to make your Instagram ads successful. Why 30? I'm turning 30. Guys, I'm turning 30, it's crazy. Goodbye to my 20s. It's been real, it's been nice, but we're in a new decade now and I am going through a personal evolution. Like it's literally happening right now in this very moment who is watching that is over 30 let me know in the comment section will i be okay just kidding but did you guys not feel an overwhelming sense of like confrontational sense of personal growth during this time let me know in the comment section anyways guys back to the video so if you're new and i mean new new the first step that you're going to want to do guys is you're going to want to get set up with your facebook business page and you're probably wondering like why do i have to do this right now if i want to run an instagram ad but basically the Facebook Instagram page acts as your brand's home on Facebook and connects to your Instagram account. So let's set this up together. To set up your Facebook page, log into Facebook. So yes, this does mean that you have to have a personal account to create a business page. Most of you probably already have one. So from there, you're just gonna go to the pages section. So to do that, click on the menu icon in the top right corner, then select pages from the list, click create new page, and this will open the page creation wizard. Now you have to choose a page category. So select the category that best describes your business. You can also add up to three subcategories for further refinement. I will say guys, like don't overthink this step. Making your Facebook page is not like that crucial because people don't really visit business Facebook pages all that much anymore. So don't worry about it. But we do kind of have to set this up because it is basically just kind of like a means to an end at this point. So that being said, enter your page name. That's going to be your business name. And then after that, add a profile picture. People like to use their logo, so you can use that. And then you're going to want to add a cover photo as well. This is kind of like a long banner that goes at the top of the page like this. And yeah, actually, let me just pop a couple more examples of a Facebook business page right here and right here so that you guys can see what it would look like. Now you have to add your page details. So that's gonna be information like your website and contact details. It's also gonna ask you for a location and business hours, but if that's not applicable to you, then no worries, you do not have to include that. Now you create your about section. You can put your mission statement here or a description of what your business is all about and what you do. And here you're gonna wanna customize your call to action. So what this is, is a button that lives on your Facebook page that is gonna encourage your visitors to take a desired action like visiting your website or contacting you, that kind of a thing. That's it, congrats. You just have made your first Facebook business page. So step one guys is complete. Next step is to create your Instagram account. I know you guys don't need a tutorial on how to make an Instagram account. It's really easy. You just have to like follow the prompts. The main thing is that you have to make sure that you have a professional Instagram account. So basically that means that your Instagram account must either be a business or a creator account. So let me show you how to switch your personal Instagram account to a professional one. Open your Instagram app and go to your profile page. Tap the three little lines in the right hand corner, select settings and privacy. Tap account, scroll down and tap switch to professional account. Choose creator or business, depending on your needs. Select a category that best describes your content. So now this is where all the magic comes together. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna connect your Facebook page that you just made, then you're gonna add or review the contact information and choose whether to display it on your profile. And finally, you're gonna tap done to complete the switch. Do not fret if you change your mind and you wanna change it back to a personal account, you can do that whenever you need to. Now for the first time ever, we're gonna go into our Facebook ads manager. So what is Facebook ads manager, you ask? <laughs> because Facebook slash Meta owns Instagram, this is gonna be where you are managing your Instagram ads. It is basically an all-in-one tool where you create your ads and once they're running, this is where you're gonna be able to see how they're doing. To get your Facebook ads manager set up, you're gonna to go to facebook.com slash business slash tools slash 
ads manager. I will also leave a link for you guys in the description box so that you can, you know, get to it without a hitch. But after you're there, you're gonna log in. If it's your first time, you might need to complete a short setup process. It's gonna ask you, you know, super easy things like your country, what currency you wanna work in. And also it's gonna get you to put a credit card on file so that you can pay for the ads that you end up running. All the groundwork is done. Congratulations, you're a rock star. Now we're actually gonna create our Facebook ad. So I'm gonna show you the basics. Right now, we're playing chess and I'm showing you the pieces and how they move, right? The strategy comes after. So here's how the pieces move. The first step is to create a campaign. What's a campaign? A campaign is the big umbrella that holds all of your ads under one roof. To do that, we're gonna click on create in the top left corner. Then choose a campaign objective based on your goals. People generally need to know about your brand before they go ahead and purchase from you. That's why there are different objectives here. Awareness is that phase when your audience is like, yeah, I have no idea who you are. Consideration is exactly what it sounds like. This is the point where the customers, you know, now they know you and they're actually thinking about you. They might want to take you out on a date. You know, they're not sure yet. And conversion is when they are ready to make a purchase. By the way, guys, conversion, if you're not sure what that means, it's just a fancy word for purchase. Let's assume that people don't yet know who your brand is. So you would want to choose an objective in the awareness section. Let's give this baby a name. And if you get really into Instagram ads and you're absolutely killing it, you're probably going to have a lot of ads running at once. So name your campaigns, something that you will know exactly what it is upon first glance is going to be very important. No one can tell you what that naming convention is going to be. That makes sense for you. Only you're going to know that, but you can go for a mix of like campaign objective. And then maybe the campaign is for a certain collection. So you might want to put that in. Now it's time to create an ad set. In the world of Facebook ads, an ad set is a grouping of ads. So at this level, you can edit settings like audience and how much money you want to spend. This is really nice because let's say you want to spend $30 a day on men and let's say $50 a day on women, you can have two different ad sets within the campaign targeting both of these audiences. It's kind of like the middle manager taking instructions from the campaign objective and distributing them to the specific variations. So let me show you what kind of settings I can control at the ad set level. Budget and schedule. Here you can set your daily or lifetime budget and your campaign start and end dates. Also, you can define your target audience. And I love this because look at how detailed you can get. We have demographics here and you can even show your ads to specific people with specific interests and behaviors. So that's that. Now in the placement section, choose manual placements. Then under platforms, select Instagram. You can also choose automatic or Advantage Plus placements if you prefer. Advantage Plus is a relatively new tool. It's an automated tool that decides where your ads will show. The point is that Facebook is trying to give you the best results. Then we get into the actual design of the ad. So at this point, you're gonna wanna have a photo or video ready. You can take this content with your phone. So how to get this uploaded is first of all, you're gonna choose your ad format. A single image is just one single image. A video is of course a video. A carousel is when someone would have to swipe through to see many images. A collection is where you're gonna have one main image or one main video, and then you'll have several smaller product images displayed below in a grid layout. So you'll upload your ad creative from your existing existing media or Facebook or Instagram library. And then at this point, you're gonna write some ad copy that's gonna grab someone's attention. And then you have the option to save or publish your work. Okay, so now you know exactly how Facebook Ad Manager works, but there's a lot of strategy that goes into this. And it really is a strategy that is gonna determine whether your Instagram ads actually work or not. So here are the 30 tips that are gonna make your Instagram ads work. If you're finding this video helpful so far, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Every week we drop a new video video that helps you run an online business. Whether that is how to run a successful Instagram ad, just like this here, or how to start an online store, this channel is gonna have you guys covered. And also guys, liking this video does help me out personally. So if you feel so inclined, please feel free to give it a like. If you wanna do something for me, that does go a long way and for the channel. So back to the 30 tips. If you have a low budget, let's say like $500 a month, create lookalike audiences of people who have engaged with your Instagram account. This will help you make your audience more relevant and strong your budget. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, if your ad isn't doing well, maybe it's because your call to action doesn't accurately describe where your audience is going to land. So for example, learn more is a great call to
to action for an article, but not so much for a shopping page. And Shop Now is always great for product, home pages, and collection pages. Tip number three, your content might not be hitting current events and trends. So make sure that you are capitalizing on seasonality and holidays. Tip four, to make your ads super successful, be sure to tell a story. The best way is to use video to keep your audience hooked. Five, have you ever heard of ad fatigue? So basically this happens when your ad has shown to the same people too many times, so they just start to tune it out. At that point, you'll be spending money on ads that aren't working. We don't want that. So to avoid that, keep an eye on your frequency in Ads Manager. Next tip, let the algorithm target the right Instagram users by keeping your audience broad. Instagram is pretty smart. They've got a lot of data on groups of users, so let them do their thing. And this isn't such a bad thing either because you can let Instagram do all the heavy lifting and focus on other things that you can't control, like great creative. Now more than ever, the right creative is key in making Instagram ads that actually work. So here's a creative tip that will help boost your engagement. Use captions on your videos to keep your audience hooked. I learned this next tip on funnel.io. Use a single account instead of creating multiple Instagram accounts. Like if you have multiple business areas, for example, how is it all under one? Why? This can help you more effectively manage your content, reach a wider audience, and gather more data about your followers. By consolidating your campaign structure, you allow the algorithms to get more data about the users and maximize its performance. Focus on your hook in your video ad. You have the first three seconds of the video to do so. So easy to understand, shocking, clear hooks are gonna be what works best. Make your ad blend in with your feed. At least for me, when I see a super pretty, kind of like polished video in my feed, I immediately know it's an ad and just kind of like scroll past. Lo-fi underproduced is a really great way to get your ads to go viral. Optimize for mobile. Think portrait, not landscape. If you're running your ad globally, translate your ad for each country. Also, if you're targeting specific countries, make sure that the landing pages are in the right currencies and languages. Create videos that make sense even if the audio is off. Show, don't tell. Instead of standing in front of the camera and explaining the product, take videos of the product in use and overlay that on top of your explainer. Understand what your customer's issues are and explain how your product or service will solve them. These types of ads do amazingly on Instagram. If you're new to Instagram, use ads, numbers, and facts to establish authority with an audience that is just getting to know you. Keep it short and sweet. Avoid tons of text. Keep it fast and punchy. Quick paced videos with high energy and fast cuts that keep a viewer on their toes are gonna outperform ones that take too long to get to the good parts. If you have an expensive product, showcase your product benefits, but leave out the price. This will increase the perceived value before viewers take one look at your price and just kind of write you off. Interested shoppers can find out more about pricing details when they visit the product page or book a consult with you. Use before and after sales techniques to show your customer's current situation and how they can be happier, better, healthier, live more convenient lives, whatever that sales prop is with you. Speaking of which, we are living in the age of convenience, food, learning, social transport, all of that is at our fingertips. So if you have a product or if you have a service that makes, you know, someone's life more convenient, lead with that. Strip your ad creative down. Stick to minimalism with your text, videos, photos, messaging, and just overall style. If you have a main takeaway like the deodorant you can use everywhere, keep that title showing throughout your entire video. This is going to help remind people what they're watching and keep the attention of folks with short attention spans. Use humor. This is a surefire way to get people organically talking about not only your ad, but your brand. Leave the best deal for last. If you're showing new customers the best offers you have on, you know, an evergreen campaign, you're leaving money on the table. Use deep sales at the bottom of your funnel. Hire a designer. If you know video or photo or, you know, graphic design isn't your strong suit, don't be afraid to hire someone on Upwork. I've personally had really good success on Upwork. Appeal to people's primal instincts. Guys, we are hungry, emotional, emotional, loving human beings. So relating to stories of food, dogs, kids, and romance is a global experience. Telling these kinds of narratives will help you be understood by the masses, if that's what you're after. But if you have a niche audience, because you have a product that targets, you know, a very specific type of person, you're gonna wanna focus on messaging that deeply understands your niche. What do they fear, love, want, need, and so on. Knowing that and creating videos that speak to those points will help you sell. For example, new moms want to feel safety that they're doing their job right. So if you're selling baby bottles, making a video that showcases the health and safety benefits of your product would mean that you deeply understand your audience. Alrighty, so those are the 30 tips on how to make Instagram ads that actually work. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. Okay, so now that we are done with the tutorial part, let's do a life update. Okay, so I recently finished the book 
13 things mentally strong people don't do. I feel like if you're business and growth oriented, you might like this. Also, this is not new at all, but the five minute journal has also been something that I've been using for the past year. And it's just so good at, you know, getting me in a good mood in the mornings, which is important whether you're in business or not. I feel like gratitude is important just for the human experience. What else can I share? I've started music classes. I've been feeling like this year has been a lot about personal growth and just kind of like soaking up all the things that the world has to offer. What are you guys up to? Any fun books that you're reading? I'm always down for a good book recommendation. So let me know in the comments. Um, and any hobbies that you've picked up too, let me know. Yeah, hobbies are the spice of life. This channel that you're watching right here, guys, is called Learn with Shopify. It is an official Shopify channel that teaches you how to grow a business. So glad that you guys were able to join me today. Cannot wait to see you guys next week and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.